Let us get to Google Parent Alphabet and how it's trading right now. It's kind of middling slightly above or below, depending on which moment you look at it. It is down just a fraction at the moment. Just about 20 minutes left before it reports quarterly numbers. Ahead of the big reveal, the Silicon Valley tech giant is under fire. The Wall Street Journal saying, forget Facebook. It's Google and its massive analytics business that is crashing your privacy in ways none of us really knew, involving everything from data harvesting to artificial intelligence that has the ability to harvest your face. Okay, I just made that up for drama, but I mean, you know, the facial recognition issue. AI, artificial intelligence, is the hot topic sucking up oxygen in the tech world. The future of AI or machine learning and its role with protecting or, as it were, taking advantage of consumers, has tech giants like Google and Facebook racing each other to the finish line and creating their own custom AI chips. A growing U.S. company is already ahead of the AI curve. C3IoT is harnessing the convergence of AI with the Internet of Things software platform. It's currently valued at $1.4 billion, and its CEO... You may recognize the name, Tom Siebel, a true Silicon Valley original here in a Fox Business exclusive as we are now about 19 minutes away from Google giving its earnings. And, and I have to just ask you first on this Google issue, does the Facebook privacy scandal and now what people are questioning regarding Google, do all these questions have the ability to hurt the bottom line of these companies in the future? Well, I think the Facebook privacy issue is a fact. Okay, and it drives to the fundamentals of our ability to conduct a democracy, and it needs to be addressed. As it relates to Google, these are highly ethical people. This is a great company. And I think most of the discussion relating Google is, is, is speculative. So, you know, we'll see what, what pans out there. But as it relates to Facebook, this is something that needs to be addressed or we won't be able to conduct a democracy. Okay, but one more thing. Google Analytics, it, you know, the journal says that it can actually follow you even after you've logged off or have opted out of things. Doesn't that concern you, whether it's Google or any other company? I think that privacy is a very important issue. I think Europe has gotten out in front of that with the GDPR, and I think this is an area where we need the government to come in and regulate and ensure that people's privacy can be perfect, protected. Let's get to artificial intelligence, because this scares people too. But C3IoT is your company, and you are jumping ahead with exactly what as it pertains to machine learning. Uh, C3IoT is the world's leading provider of AI, artificial intelligence, and IoT applications for industrial use. So this is in the area of precision medicine, predictive maintenance for aircraft, optimization of manufacturing processes, precision agriculture. So we're able to use um, uh, you know, new breakthroughs in information technology in the area of predictive analytics to dramatically in change the way that people deal with customers, the way they manufacture products, the way that they deliver services to great economic and social benefit. You've teamed up with Microsoft for this. So what are the applications that you foresee? I know you just mentioned everything from agriculture to medicine, but give us that, that future dream that you have as an example, any kind of a perfect analogy to what you foresee for this. Well, with Microsoft, for example, we're working on <clears throat> precision health with 3M Health, and we can take healthcare data and genomic data to dramatically increase the efficiency of basically precision medicine, um, lower the cost of medicine, decrease the evidence, the, 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 the decreased disease. I mean, this is just socially and economically a good thing. With Microsoft, we're working with Royal Dutch Shell, where we're building predict using AI-based predictive maintenance applications across the entire digital oil field at global scale to increase the safety, increase the liability of, of, of hydrocarbon production, increase the availability of, of wind production, and lower the cost of energy for consumers. Well, this just sounds like smart software versus artificial intelligence and machine learning, which scares some people. You can understand why. And AI and, and the fact that you're ahead of this Makes, makes some people feel a little more comfortable because the Chinese are running and trying step for step. And I think that they're applying for patents for AI at six times the rate that the United States companies are. 
Yeah, I think Ch China is a formidable competitor, and these are very bright people, and they're moving ahead very, and they're moving forward very quickly. But AI basically promises the ability to solve a class of problems that were unsolvable. We can, we can the, generally in the area of predictive analytics, where we can active, we can, we can very precisely predict events before they happen, whether that's device failure, heart disease, or diabetes. Do you fear anything? getting out of control regarding what you're doing because Facebook had to shut down a division of its AI because the machines they were working on learned to communicate with each other in a language the people in charge of the project couldn't understand. They had to shut it down. I think like the invention of agriculture, like the industrial revolution, like the information technology area, as we go into this new field of AI and IoT, I mean, there are going to be issues that we need to deal with as there will be jobs that will be eliminated. Yeah. And sure. there will be privacy issues that are critical that need to be addressed. And, and perhaps most importantly, there are cyber security issues that are they're highly critical that they be addressed. And I think this is an area where we're not paying enough attention as a government and as industry. We're not, we're, we're not focused enough on cybersecurity. This is critically important. If we don't address it, we will be sorry. On that upbeat note, <laughs> Tom Siebel, it's a pleasure to have you. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Come back again with C3IoT and let us know how you're developing. Thank you so much. We appreciate it.